In this video, I will provide you with the names of the pipe fittings for the drain pipes. And this is going to be ABS. PVC is probably going to be the same. And in our example, we have a three inch drain line down here. If you're going to use a four inch, just simply replace the three with a four. And you can run a four inch all the way up to your toilet. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with our first fitting. This is a combo fitting, and it's going to be a three inch long sweep combo fitting along with a clean out that will glue onto our three inch pipe. Next up, let's go ahead and swing over to the bottom here where this might look like a sanitary tee. You cannot use a sanitary tee here. This again will need to be a combo fitting and it's going to be a three inch, three inch and a two inch combo fitting because we're going to be changing the size of the pipe from three inches here to two inches. And then we're going to run an inch and a half vent up once we get above the clean out. And then we're going to come up to a 90 sweep here or a long turn 90. And this is all two inch here. We're going to have a two inch sanitary tee up here. So we're not going to use the long sweep for this. This has got to be a sanitary tee. And then we're going to come into a two inch trap here for our shower. We're going to have a two inch line coming up to our clean out. And the clean out will be a two inch clean out. You're going to have a two inch fitting connector down here and an inch and a half connector up here. And in our example here, I have a reducer that's going to reduce the two inch fitting to an inch and a half so that I can run an inch and a half pipe all the way up. You can always run a two inch pipe all the way up here. You don't need to reduce it down. So you can reduce it down to save a few dollars. And here we're going to have a three inch all hub long sweep combination fitting a 45 degree three inch fitting and this is for our toilet and this one here will be a sanitary tee so you'll have a three inch sanitary tee there coming up to a long sweep 90 and your toilet flange right there and if this was going to be four inch you could bring the four inch all the way up here to your toilet four inch drain pipe bring all of this up four inches four inches all the way up to here and then you could reduce it down at the clean out. So here we have a three inch clean out coming up here and we're reducing it down to a two inch and we're going to run the two inch vent all the way up. We're going to use a sanitary tee here with a two inch, two inch and an inch and a half here and then we're going to have a 45 degree elbow or you can change this, whatever's going to work better for you. And then we're going to need to run a two inch pipe all the way up to vent the toilet and the sink. A view of it there. And then let's pull back two inches, inch and a half, two inch vent here. And that takes care of this section here. This 45 degree fitting will be the same here. And we're going to have the same fittings over here. And if a 22 and a half degree fitting will work better for you, use them. So you might need to use the 45 degree fittings here, but over here you might be able to use the 22 and a half degree fittings. And again, this is all three inch here, unless you change it to four inch. And then here we're going to have a long turn combo or a sweep fitting. And that will be a three inch, three inch and a two inch. Coming up here will be a sweep 90 or a long turn 90. Coming up to another sanitary T, two inch trap. This is for our wash machine drain and another clean out here. Two inches all the way up. We're going to have a two inch vent pipe, two inch drain, two inch clean out for the wash machine and laundry area. And of course our 45 degree connectors, three inches coming up here with a long sweep 90 or a long turn 90 up to a clean out, three inches coming up, three inch clean out here. And then we can reduce it down to an inch and a half or a two inch. And you might want to check with your local building codes. Some building codes require a full size vent pipe. For example, if this is three inches, you need to vent it three inches all the way up. 
four inches. It would have to go up four inches at one point. And I wouldn't be able to provide you with much details on that, except for the fact that you would need to check with your local building department to verify that. So we're going to have an inch and a half line come out here for the kitchen sink and then come up with a two inch vent. And that is it for the video. So hopefully it helps. I know I had a couple of people suggest that there might be a problem with my fittings over here. They look like they're sanitary tees and they're not. And I'll probably end up redesigning those fittings for future videos.